Hi, welcome. What we're going to talk about today is something called a myogelosis or a myofascial gelosis, depending on which textbooks you read. Essentially, what a myofascial gelosis is, is a thickening. A thickening. Every muscle, gland, organ, bone has covering, like this, called fascia. And many things can happen to it, but today we're just going to talk about a thickening of it. And the only way to treat a thickening is through percussion therapy. So applied kinesiology gives you the benefit of finding it. Remember, you can't find it, you can't fix it. And applied kinesiology is a great tool because it's functional muscle testing. It measures the nervous system, it measures the um, flexibility, the strength, or whatever you want to call it, the body. So applied kinesiology is the best way, at least I feel, to find these gelosis. Now, uh, people such as Janet Travell, who started the whole myofascial movement, especially she said there's a pincing way to find it. What I'm going to show you is what I think, in all due respect, a superior way, which is putting a 128 tuning fork over the bone, over the muscle, over the tent, whatever, wherever you'll go. If there's a thickening, this will relay itself as a dysfunction of the muscle. So we're going to go into that. We're going to show this myofascial problem. Then I'm going to show you how to use a fantastic piece of equipment, which I believe every physical body doctor modality, chiropractor, osteopaths, physical therapists should use. It's called a vibrocussor. This one's from Impact, which I feel is the best there is. A vibrator doesn't do it. A percussor has to come straight up and down like a jackhammer to release that gelosis, and that's what this does. I'm going to show you how to find the gelosis and how to examine for the frequency that the patient might need. We're going to do that now. Uh, fixing it. So again, you test any muscle in the body, push up against my hand. Now you put the tuning fork over any area where you suspect there might be a gelosis or a thickening. That includes the bone, which in applied kinesiology we call an intraosseous subluxation, where the fascia tightens up and actually affects the molecular structure of the bone. So you put the tuning fork over an area, let's say here the trap, push up, All right, no problem. Let's go to the quadrace laborum. Push up, whoop. again push up, no good. So I'll demonstrate how to fix the muscle, then we'll go over a bone also and uh, demonstrate that. So now you take the percussor, you've now found it with the tuning fork. So you found it, you want to see which rhythm or frequency is optimal for this patient because everyone's unique. So I like to start the lowest, here it is, put it over the area, push up, doesn't show a problem. Go to the next one, push up, frequency, and you can go to the next frequency, push, and you will find that only one shows. So in this case, I call it the second one, the lowest. And again, you can demonstrate range of motion, which I highly recommend. That's pretty good at the moment. I always recommend muscle testing and measure something else such as range of motion. Because remember, doctors, you're affecting the entire nervous system. And flexibility is a function of the nervous system. So to see if you did something beneficial for the patient, a range of motion increase, along with the muscle function improving, is a great way to check your work. So about 30 seconds on the appropriate frequency should take care of the thickening or the gelosis. In this case, this patient's left quadratus lumborum. You can explain to the patient too then, ask is she drinking water, which also helps remove any of the toxicity that can build up. Okay, now bend, push up. Okay, that looks good. And now we'll check the range of motion. Dramatic. You've taken a major stressor off this patient. Look, it even does the other side, because we're talking globally. Now, this is for the chiropractors only. To watch this. Chiropractors take care of what's called subluxations, where the bone's not quite moving in place and it disrupts the entire nervous system. So now what I want to show is if you put the tuning fork, I'm going to go over the fourth lumbar, bend, push up, it's showing there's a problem. I have found when this shows up like that, while that in applied kinesiology is called an intraosseous subluxation, in a subluxation in applied kinesiology, if you do what's called the vertebral challenge and you induce movement at that segment, if that segment is not moving in that vector, 
it will actually, for five seconds, discharge what's called deaffrontation and affect the entire nervous system, short-circuiting the body, if you will. So I'm going to push it on the left mammillary area, P to A, that's posterior to anterior, or back to front. Push up. Nope. Push up. Okay. So we have what statically is called in chiropractic the left posteriority of L4. So now, what I'm going to demonstrate, and this is for all the chiropractors, your vision should be to get better every year, to actually fix your patient's problem as quickly as possible, not drag it on three times a week ad infinitum. So this is something that I've discovered, is that if you percuss the segment first, loosen it up, clear out the mechanoreceptors, um, uh, maybe fix what's called intraosseous subluxation, apply kinesiology, where the bone isn't resonating properly. If you do this first, push up, when you make the correction, it's actually easier. And then, an important caveat, is you then have to do it after. The theory being, again, you're normalizing the mechanoreceptors, you're releasing fascia, you're clearing out lymphatics or lactic acid, and you're doing now in one visit what maybe used to take you three. I think that's pretty great. Your mission, your goal is to be able to fix people, take their pain away as quickly as possible. And then that's how you build a very successful and fulfilling practice. That's about 30 seconds before the adjustment. Ben, please. Push up. Okay, looks good. Now, I'm going to use a drop table. You could just as easily side posture or do whatever move you want to do. So I'm going to use the drop table here on the dually table, which I love. Okay. Let's see if that induces the motion we need. I'm going to push on the mammillary. Back to front. Push up. No longer short circuit, sir. Now, you may remember we just put the percussor on and it was cleared, but now that you put the bone in place or induced optimal movement, push up. It's not good anymore. What happened is you raised the bar. So it was fine before, but now that you corrected the subluxation, it's not as fine, or as I like to say, now that you painted the room, the curtains don't look so good. About 15 seconds post-adjustment seems to do the trick. Okay, bend please. Push up. Beautiful. Now again, range of motion should show that what you did took a stressor off of the body. And it did. She'll be ready for circuit del soleil by the time you're done with this. Beautiful. So that's the way to use the vibrocussor to clear what's called gelosis. First we did the quadrace lumborum, release that thickening of the fascia to open it up. And you know the quadrace lumborum connects up to the rib, it connects down to the iliolumbar ligament and the pelvis, very important for breathing and walking. And then the lumbar subluxation, which as I said, any chiropractor should want to get better and better at it. You percuss before the adjustment, makes the adjustment a little easier, then after the adjustment, and it seems like it sets it in, and you saw right here that the nervous system said, thank you. And so tonight, thank you, and stay healthy and stay positive.